All right, we got Jake Ewing here to be a man. How's it going? It's going great, how are you, PJ? Pretty good. You guys played a killer show tonight. It was really good to be able to see you on tour. Go figure, we end up playing together. Yeah, I'm so. glad you could make it. You guys sounded great as well. Oh, well, thank you very much. BreakthroughRocks.com. All right, so this is not your first tour that you've been on. Nope, uh, but it is the longest tour we've been on. Gotcha, how long were you guys out in total? Um, we were out about, I think it was 12 days. 12 days, so. nice. I know I asked you this before, but was it fulfilling? Like what you wanted it to be? It was, you know, and not a, uh, it isn't as glamorous as you think it would be. Not every show turns out exactly how you want it to be or how you think it would be. Right. But uh, I felt like God really surprised us in a lot of ways. We had uh, a surprise show, we had a date fell through, and then we ended up playing a show. It was in the basement in Chicago, and it ended up being the best show of our tour. So you guys have one more date on this? We have one more date. It's uh, up in Hopkins up near Minneapolis, the west of Dinky Town, at a place called The Depot. The Depot. I've heard of that place before. I haven't played there before, though. Have you ever it, been there before? Yeah, we have. We played there like, like a month ago. Really cool place, um, kind of low-key. Um, they serve coffee, so you can't go wrong there. <laughs> yeah, so true. <laughs> hey, so you had two members of Breakthrough play with you. Yeah, we, uh, we did, and it was a complete and absolute honor. Awesome. What songs were those? Um, they were, one of them was If It Means A Lot To You, and we've done that one with Catherine a few times before, and it always goes great. Um, she's, she's wonderful, she's a great vocalist, a great friend of ours, and uh, the other one is called Homeless in Hawaii. It's a, it's a new one we're doing, uh, there's a uke solo, spoiler alert, it's, it's pretty sweet, it's going to be coming out on our next album, which is going to be coming out in September is what we're due for right now, so. Sweet. So it's new merch. We finally got some t-shirts that we can uh, that we can um, appeal to women. We got a shirt that says to be a whoa man. The W O's in the script, so it still says to be a man. It's pink, it's black, it's pretty hot. Any records? We do, we have, we're, work, we're working on right, one right now. Um, it has, it's gonna be just kind of a three track album that we're gonna release for the end, the end of the summer here. Almost in Hawaii is gonna be the album. That's gonna be the title track. Um, it's also gonna have a, an acoustic song that I wrote for my father. Um, pretty touching, check it out, and then another one called Let Go. I enjoyed Homeless in Hawaii a lot. Yeah. That was great, and it wasn't just because <laughs> Drew played. I thought it was a great song, and I really like the song you wrote for your dad. Does that have anything to do with the band name? It does. Um, the song is actually called Everything You Need to Know, and the band name is To Be A Man. So you put them together, it's Everything You Need to Know to Be A Man, which is basically uh, what my father taught me. Group of Christian, group of a, a, a family that believed in God and you know, him most of all. He's the guy who lived it out every day of his life and he uh, taught me what it means to be a man, be a man of God. Finally, most memorable moment from tour. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey Christian, what was the most memorable uh, moment from tour? Basement show. Basement show. Chicago. Basement show in Chicago. And you danced to that movie. Pitch Perfect. Yeah. That might go on the internet, we'll see. We all stuck our heads out the window, or out the sunroof. Even you while you were driving, that's kind of fun. <laughs> These guys are hardcore. My mom's on Facebook. <laughs> well, and you're on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> She's not on YouTube. So yeah, I probably the house show we played in Chicago, we have some videos up and it was just, uh, they said that was one of the shows we were expected to get and uh, it was really just an honor for us to, to be there and uh, with that Titan. Tight knit group of people. I want to do a shout out to Knockout who uh, helped get us on the show. They're great. They're really awesome. Chicago Funk Bank. You should check them out. Awesome. All right. Website, Facebook, URLs. Facebook. Um, you can go facebook.com slash be a man. I'm um, also youtube.com slash user slash to be a man. Um, Rear of Nation, SoundCloud, you name it. Just search our name, you'll find us. These guys are everywhere, and you're the last one to the party, so go looking for them. All right, Jake, it's been great talking to you, and I'm looking forward to catching up with you again later. Let's see if